staying with drawing demo 02 in the project demo 10 in the project manager, we're now going to look at placing wires at angles. Now you'll notice these wires over here have got the wire loops, the wire gaps there, can you see? So those wires are going over that wire there. And you can also see the little circular connectors. If I zoom in really close, you can see that's a bunch of circles. Now if I type regen and press enter there, what will happen is that will regenerate the drawing and you'll see there that they go to circles. AutoCAD converts circles to polygons to allow for a quick zoom. So you can see there's a little connector there and that's actually made up from a block reference and it's on the layer symbols. And that's because it's linked to the AutoCAD project itself. Let's just zoom out again to that nice big space. Now you'll notice I've deleted the wires that were already there from the previous exercise. That was just to demonstrate how to place wires using that wire command. If I zoom in a little bit here on this vertical wire here, for example, what I can do is I can go to the wire command again here on the schematic tab on the ribbon and I can insert wires at different angles. So you'll notice you can insert a 45 degree wire segment. So if I click there and select the component or branch for the 45 degree wire. So if I come over to this wire here, notice as soon as I hover over the wire, I get a nearest object snap. Now, as long as my object snaps are on, that will automatically appear. So I get that nearest every time. The command overrides the snap in this particular case. So I hover there and I click. And as I click now, can you see I get a 45 degree wire coming off and I get two segments, but what it also does is it picks up the layer of the wire. Can you see that? So if I now press enter and then just hit escape a couple of times just to get out of that command. So it's asking me now to go for another 45 degree wire component. So I hit escape there. That's the way to get out of the wire command, by the way. Use escape, not enter. Enter will just prompt you to go to another wire. So there's my 45 degree segment. Notice it's put a connector in straight away for me. I don't have to think about any of this because it's all linked to my AutoCAD electrical project and those symbols, those little connector blocks in the project settings and the drawing settings. So because I'm using a default AutoCAD electrical demo 10 project, all of those settings are already in there for me. So I don't need to worry about that. They're all there ready for me to use. So that's how you insert your wires at different angles. So let's try that one more time. Let's go back up here. And instead of a 45 degree, let's go for a 67.5 degree wire. So I come in and now it prompts me for a branch at 67.5 degrees. Same process again, hover over the wire. There's the nearest snap, click. And then as I drag this time and come up and click again, I'll press enter. Just hit escape once the command prompts me for another wire. And as you can see, there's my 67.5 degree component. Now you'll notice when I hover over these wires, they are just lines. And yes, that's all they are until you start doing the wire numbering, which we'll cover later. So that's how you insert your wires at angles in your AutoCAD electrical drawings.